Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Just Here and There. This is Ronald. This video is about the world famous Cologne Cathedral which is the UNESCO's World Heritage Site. You'll get to see an amazing view of the Cologne city and the cathedral from the top of this building. You can buy the ticket at the entrance and the price is 5 euros per person. The name of this building is Cologne Triangle and it is a 103.2 meters tall building in Deutsch Cologne and a prominent landmark in Cologne. This building has 29 floors and 565 steps. They have an elevator which takes you directly to the 28th floor and then you need to climb another flight of stairs to the observation deck. You will get a 360 degree panoramic view, a great view of Cologne Cathedral, railway lines, complete beautiful view of Rhine River can be seen from here. That is the Cologne Cathedral, Roman Catholic Cathedral located in this city. You can stay at the top for as long as you want to. I would recommend going here after sunset to get this incredible view. Now from Cologne Triangle building, I am walking towards Cologne Cathedral. The bridge what you are seeing is the Owen Zollen bridge. It is the most famous and oldest bridge built between 1907 and 1911. And it is crossing Rhine river. Nearly 1200 trains pass through this bridge every day. You can also see low locks in this bridge. If you happen to be bored with sending flowers and chocolates on Valentine's Day, you could express your love with this love locks instead. The locks began appearing on the pedestrian footpath across the bridge in summer of 2008. After the locks are affixed, the key is thrown into the river rain for safekeeping. This is the Cologne Cathedral. It is the largest Gothic church in Northern Europe and features immense twin towers that stand 515 feet tall. The cathedral was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1996 and has become a tourist hotspot for 800 years. During World War II, Cologne Cathedral was hit by 14 bombs, but the twin tower did not fall. One interesting fact is, these twin towers are uneven. Even with 600 years of careful measuring, things didn't work exactly right. The north tower that is closest to the train station is 7 cm shorter than the south tower.
Christians began to celebrate religious services at the location of today's Cologne Cathedral in Roman times. After the Archbishop Reinald von Dessel brought the relics of three wise men to Cologne in 1164, the cathedral became one of the most important pilgrimage site in Europe. At least that was the fate of the three wise men who visited Jesus' nativity scene in Bethlehem. And today, the trio are said to be resting comfortably in Cologne. The cathedral's colorful glass windows are especially impressive and they sparkle like precious stones and bring a vibrant intensity of color into the church. The cornerstone of this Gothic cathedral was laid by the archbishop on August 15th, 1248. However, the construction ceased in the 16th century due to a lack of funds and a general disinterest in the Gothic architecture. The building work was suspended for almost 300 years. In the 19th century, people were once again interested in history, Middle Ages and Gothic style. So, the construction started again. And finally, the Cologne Cathedral was finished in 1880. It took almost 632 years to complete. This Cologne Cathedral is home to the tombs of 12 archbishops entered between 976 and 1612 AD. I hope you like my video. Hit the like button, share and subscribe if you like and I'll come up with a more interesting videos next time. Until then, see you. Bye bye. Ciao.